All right, Andrew, this is uh, your uh, 2019 Crew Cab Short Box 6.2 liter High Country Silverado 1500. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a delivery video uh, for you. Um, so that way, uh, one, we don't have to be in the car next to each other for 20 minutes, and two, um, if you have questions, you can always go back and kind of reference the video. So I'll just do a quick walk around, just make sure that uh, everything's explained, you kind of know what you're looking at. So it is a 6.2 uh, liter as um, noted on the hood there. 420 horse, um, you got the 22 inch wheels. Um, now with the 6.2 liter, it is gonna be a 16 city, 20 highway is what they're rated for. Uh, you got the chrome six inch rectangular running boards, step-ins, there is your low profile tonneau cover right there that got put on this morning, it looks great. Just do this real quick, so this right here is gonna be uh, the switch, so when you pull this back, that'll actually release the tonneau cover. Um, you can see all the way in the back there, those are your straps too. So once you roll it up, um, that's how you actually secure it too when it's rolled up. So uh, really easy to use. Um, all the doors, including your hood and your tailgate are all aluminum, lightweight aluminum. So um, everything's really easy to close. Uh, you'll notice on the back, you have the dual exhaust. You have um, all your parking sensors. They run across the rear and the front bumpers. So that's what that is. Um, all your plugins for your trailer hitches are right here too. Um, so that's what that is behind here this is the uh, there's a key release in there which will actually release uh, the tire underneath so that's what that is for just in case you were wondering so uh, let's do a quick overview on the truck <clears throat> we'll start in the back really quick so it is a full crew cab as you know um, you got weather tech floor mats and it hasn't been cleaned yet so forgive me for that so it'll be clean by the time you show up um, but um, everything folds up there's no levers or switches or anything you just pull up on the seats little cargo space underneath pull back down it'll pop back down it's a 60 40 split so you can do them both ways and notice in the back that you do have your plugins your micro usb your usb your heated seats and your cigarette plug-in is right there as well as rear facing vents um, in the back too as well there is some cargo um, on both sides of the seats as well so this is a flip down for uh, cup holders and whatnot power rear sliding window i will show you how to open that as well so uh, that is the back seat I'm gonna hop up front here. You do have a blind spot warning in the mirrors as well. That's what this is for. Uh, it'll light up amber orange when somebody's in your blind spot. There is no way to turn it off, so um, it'll just it'll just function as normally. But you can't hit a button and turn it off, so don't worry about that. So um, let's start at the door here. Power windows locks are all here. Um, you do have uh, the the mirror adjustments right here, uh, so left and right, and then directional pad to move them. Um, Power, power window locks, this is to fold your power mirrors in, and this is all your uh, window controls right here. This is for memory settings. So once you get your mirrors in your seat where you want it to, you'll hold down set, it'll beep at you, and you'll immediately go to one, and it'll go beep, beep, and that's how you know it's set. So uh, if there's a wife or anything and she's driving, she can be driver too, but that's what that's for. So, and then locks are on, locks are right there. Both stereo system as well, all the way through the vehicle. Um, right here on the left-hand side is where your uh, four-wheel drive selector and all your lights are so um, <clears throat> right here is the the four-wheel drive selector so you just hit it and everything will function as normally so you just hit it and it'll actually display on your DIC up here that your four-wheel drive is now engaged uh, this is for your uh, running lights this is for your rear bed light this is for your interior light dimmer so that's what that is um, so instead of a you know vertical dial that most people are used to you just hit this and uh, that that replaced the dial so uh, right beneath that is for your headlights uh, we'll go to the steering wheel here and just hop up here <clears throat> okay so um, all your um, wiper blades are on the left hand side it's also where your blinkers will be so if you just hit that obviously left right and then this is um, your window wash spray and then all your uh, wiper blade adjustments are right there okay on the back of the steering wheel to make sure you can see that yep on the back of the steering wheel right here um, there's buttons on the left and the right hand side of the steering wheel left hand side is um, your favorites and right hand side is for volume so once you actually get your favorites saved into the radio uh, that it's it's hands-free radio controls is, is essentially what that is so uh, cruise controls on the left hand side of the steering wheel this is front col front collision alert and I'll show you what that means let me just fire this guy up here <clears throat>
So you have something called adaptive cruise control and front collision alert, okay? So what that is, is it's a, um, I don't know if you've ever used adaptive cruise control, but think of these, think of these gauges as car lengths. So three, two, one, back up to three. What it'll do is if you're doing 65 down the highway and somebody cuts you off doing 50, um, it'll slow the vehicle down and it'll pick it back up when they get out of your way. So that's what that's for. And again, that's this button right here. Okay. You have your heated steering wheel button right below that. Orange lights mean things are on. So that's what that's indicating. On the right hand side, you'll have uh, your voice control. So this is answer phone call. This is hang it up. This is to control your DIC, which again, this is up right here. So this needs to be reset and I'll show you how to do that. So uh, let's go back here. <clears throat> so um, your oil life monitor. So you hit this, you go over to yes, click it in. It'll reset to 100. Okay. Sometimes when they come from the factory, they just don't reset them. But um, obviously, with it only having 54 miles on it, um, you know that you don't need an oil change yet. So that's how you do that. Um, now, when you go back up, you'll notice digital speedometer. Okay. So when you press the left arrow right here, it'll open up your category screen. So again, let me do that. Left arrow opens up the category screen. Okay. So you have the home screen, which is this. Okay. Now, that's a digital speedometer. That's where most people leave it. Now, when you press left and you go right, it'll open up your info screen. The ones beyond that are going to be music, navigation, phone, that kind of stuff. So, you have your home screen, which is a digital speedometer. Next is your info screen. That's going to be, again, a digital speedometer, but it's also going to give you all your trips, your fuel economy, your oil life, your tire pressure monitors, all that kind of stuff. So, that's how you control the DIC from the steering wheel, and that's the only way to operate the um the dic is from this pad right here okay this is obviously your shifter um, there's also a manual mode that's what the plus and minus are for so if you shift all the way down into low gear you can uh, press your, your plus or your minus and kind of go into the gear that you specifically want if you want to do it that way okay um, let's jump into the middle here i'll kind of go through the middle okay um, you have a wireless charge port in the middle. Just set your phone in there. Um, some phones are a little bit different, but most work if you just set them there. So that is something that you can use if you want to do it that way. Okay. Um, if for some reason it's not working, it's probably um, related to a, a case. Like some phones aren't set up for wireless charging, but there usually is a case that you can purchase to where it'll work in there. So that, that's how you do that. Uh, right in the middle here is going to be all your controls and above that's your climate control. But this is your trailer brake controller which again is digital so if I squeeze this you can see up here it'll it'll identify that you're using your trailer brake. So it's all digital, really nice. Micro USB, USB, uh, cigarette plug-in and then this is actually a 120 volt plug-in right here too as well. So you do have one in the bed. This is how you send power to the rear. So on the right hand uh, side of the bed in the rear there is another plug-in if you press this button here you'll see it turned green that's how you turn that on so that's all that is this is a all windows down button okay so as you can see all the windows just rolled down that's what that button is for okay now that button will not send them back up so you have to do that manually okay so let me just pull this up real quick because i think we're getting a little little wind through the side of the vehicle here all right so you got your all windows down, you got your 120 volt plug-in, traction control, hazard lights, power tailgate, which again is also accessible on, on the key fob, okay? Um, I'll show you that right here. So that's what that button on the key fob is as well. Automatic start stop, okay? So what that means is that if you come up to a stoplight, it'll actually shut itself off. It won't happen every time, but if it does happen, that's what, what it's for. The moment your foot leaves the brake, vehicle turns back on. It's instantaneous. It's like two tenths of a second. If you don't like it, you can press this button right here. Auto stop off. You do have to do it every single time that you turn on the vehicle. So if you don't like it, you just gotta press the button every time you get in your truck. That's the only way to do that, okay? This is for your parking sensors. Remember those little things in your bumpers? Um, that's how you use those. So again, orange lights mean things are odd. When you press that button, park assist is off, okay? That's what that's for. This is lane keep assist and lane departure warning. So what'll actually happen um, is there's a, uh, down here when you're driving there will be a little symbol that will actually look like this um, If you're green, you're good yellow You're probably drifting out of a lane and red means that it's gonna pull you back within your uh, within your lane and obviously that is um, You know, you can't jerk your wheel or anything, but if you're drifting it does work. So that's what that's for. Okay um, Heated seats are right here, and then this is for your ventilated now the rear seats 
do have heated seats, but they are not ventilated. You're not missing out on anything. That's the way every high country is built. So um, it's only ventilated up front, just so that you know. Climate control's right in the middle. This is where it's gonna go out. This is your fan speed. And then it's independent, so you and I can be different. So if I adjust this, um, I can set this to what I want it to. Now, if you hit the sync button, it'll actually sync to what the driver is. Okay, so that's how you would do that. So uh, let's go up top really quick, and then I'll talk about the screen in just a moment here. This is going to be for um, all your uh, sunroof buttons and your home link. Okay, so home link is right here. This is for your garage door openers. Okay, this is for your uh, your rear, uh, power rear slider, so you just push it in, and it'll it'll um, the vehicle's not on. But this is the this is for your power rear slider. So if you press it, um, press it in, it'll actually roll the window open. And if you pull down, it'll open the window back up. Okay. Um, this is for your sunroof buttons right here. This is for your interior lights. Okay, that's what these two buttons are for. So it just depends if you want the lights to kick on when the vehicle is open um, or not. So if they just went off because the doors are open, but I don't want the lights to be on. Now, doors open, lights are back on. So that's what that's indicating, okay? This is for your OnStar buttons right here. So um, we'll talk about this in just a moment too. And actually when you get here, um, you'll be fully aware that I'm gonna need you to do a welcome call uh, for your OnStar as well, okay? So let's uh, let's fire this guy back up here. All right, so you have an eight inch touchscreen. You have an eight inch touchscreen. Uh, the software is called MyLink. Okay, that's, uh, that's the software that Chevy uses. So that's what this screen is, all right? So in the first button here, this is your home screen. So whenever you wanna get back to the screen, you just hit this button right here and this will bring you back, okay? So you can press audio and I'll set you up on a Sirius XM trial as well. So you'll have that as well. So you'll notice that it's displaying something right now. You're also gonna have a three month XM trial um, that's gonna be attached to the vehicle and I'll set that up before you even get here, okay? We do have AM, FM, XM. More would be like if you had your phone Bluetooth and you wanted to do Spotify or something like that. That's what that's for, okay? Sound is gonna be bass, treble, all that kind of stuff. And browse is gonna be really useful if like you're in XM because you can actually see all the radio stations that it's displaying. So not super useful if you're in like FM or AM because it's just numbers, but in XM it's really beneficial, okay? Uh, phone is really easy to set up. You'll go in here, you'll uh, open up your Bluetooth settings on your phone, you'll hit connect phone, add phone, and it'll pair to your phone, okay? Text and phone calls will come straight to the vehicle, and because I don't have anything in here, I can't actually see it, but you'll be able to see like all your contacts and all that kind of stuff that are actually in your phone. It'll mirror to the car, okay? Uh, navigation, you have standalone navigation. What that means is that you already paid for nav, okay? I'll explain your alternative here in just a moment, but this is factory navigation. You don't have to do anything, it's there, okay? So you just go in here, you type in your address, you'd hit go, and it'll work just like you'd expect it to work. Now, with that said, let me go home. You have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, okay? If you have an Apple, it's called Apple CarPlay. If you have an Android, it's called Android Auto. What that means is that you can plug your phone into the USB port down here, plug it into your phone, and let's say you have an Apple. You hit Apple CarPlay and it'll take Google Maps off your phone and it'll put it up on this screen. Some people just like that because it's a little bit more user friendly. Obviously, people that don't have a standalone navigation package, that comes in really beneficial. You have both both options. So it's 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 really about whatever you're comfortable with, okay? Um, you can set up different profiles for users. So if there's gonna be multiple people driving the truck, you can set up different users for the truck as well, okay? Um, let me just close this here. Settings are exactly what you'd expect. Time, date, all that kind of stuff. Um, and then if you wanted to turn off any of your sensors, you can do that through the settings screen as well. So it's just an alternate source to get to all that information. Um, you do have a trailering package as well. That means is if you are towing something, you can hook up your trailer and it'll actually run through your lights with you and make sure that it, it, it's basically like a trailer check. So it'll check and see that you're hooked up correctly and that you're doing kind of everything that um, you think you're doing. Um, and it makes it easier on you because it runs through your lights when you're standing out behind a trailer, all right? Um, apps. So as I said, this is all called MyLink. There's downloadable apps that you can actually add to this screen. Now, there's some that are super beneficial. Um, there's some that aren't. I mean, you can put like Fox News and CNN and stuff on there. It just comes down to if you kind of want to play around with it and add anything to that screen. Most of that stuff is accessible on your phone, obviously, too. So that's completely up to you. But you just click on apps and there would be a bunch of apps in there that you can actually download. Okay. This climate right here is another um, 
is another way to access this middle category right here. So that's what that is, okay? Now, if you go in here, this, um, I don't know if it'll let me do this as the vehicle's off. The camera button's gonna show you, um, it's gonna show you uh, your backup camera, but it's also gonna show you a trailer and camera too. So um, let me just fire it up here. Kyle Larson trying to make a comeback. So this is it right here. So if you got a hitch and you're trying to, and you're trying to, um, if you got a hitch and you're trying to line up your trailer, this is nice because you can actually, it'll point right down at your hitch so you can do it by yourself. So um, that's basically it on the vehicle. Um, I know that you'll have questions and obviously this is a little bit different. Obviously I like to walk you through this myself, but with everything going on, this is a way to make everybody feel a little bit safer. So if you have questions, don't hesitate to ask. Hopefully this video was somewhat useful. I know this is kind of different, but again, appreciate the business and uh, let me know if I can do anything for you. Thanks.